What's up guys, Jamar Dawson, Remnant Outdoors. Hope everything is going great. I have a pretty short video for y'all. I unfortunately have to discontinue and swap out and get rid of, probably trash, the Techstar Slimline Side Saddle for my Mossberg 500. It's a 12 gauge shotgun and it just ain't doing anything right. It is loose. I think one of the mounting points was the one of the root causes for it to be so loose. After about 15 shots or so, there's not a lot of internal threads because it's kind of mounted horizontally. Uh, not a lot of grip there. And so after time, it just kind of threads out. And then the gripping pads on the internal bores of the shell holder, some of them are stiff, some of them are soft. So when you put your uh, shell in there, sometimes it'll go straight to the hilt. Some of them will just get stuck in there and they're really firm to take out. So I said, forget this. I'm going with Monstrum. They are quality. They are no joke. Let's see if it works though. Okay, what you're gonna get in the box, you are going to get the two-piece side saddle kit, which is gonna consist of basically the major metal components with the plastic shell holders. Uh, should have six of them in there. You're going to get a top plate, which is gonna be used for your scope mount. You should get four screws that come with this, and you should get an Allen wrench. What you're gonna need that's not included, as you can see here, you're gonna need a very small screwdriver. It's a flathead to get out the drilled and tapped screws that are in your Mossberg 500 series shotgun currently. Now, before you put your screws in, you can go ahead and put down your scope mount if you're gonna add that. I do not have a red dot sight that I'm gonna put on the shotgun for now. So, really, we're basically done. This is about a quarter inch thick. Actually, it's about three eighths of an inch thick. And so this would add even more if you were to put this on and you were just trying to look at your bead sight or if you were trying to look at your fiber optic, it would just be too tall. So that's why I decided to leave it off. As of right now, it just gives me enough to look at that dot. I have to look just right over the top of these screws. I wouldn't mind if these were shaved down like maybe you know, an eighth of an inch or something, that'd be great. Uh, I may look at some other screws that are a little bit less tall in the future. But that is probably the one con that I do have about this entire accessory is that these are just a little bit too tall. But I understand why they're tall is because it needs to be able to accept this rail piece. Without this rail piece, these could be a little bit shorter. But, you know, it is what it is. There's no impediment here when racking the gun. That was certainly a concern of some people online, but there's plenty of clearance in the Mossberg 590. There shouldn't be any issues with the standard Mossberg 500s either. And then there's no impediment with the safety. That was something that I think some of the Shockwave owners had issues with, with the safety and or with racking the, uh, the slide mechanism. Now, if you have a particular type of uh, slide and four end stock, you may have some issues, but with the stream light, and I believe if you would have just the regular um, four end that comes with the gun, you wouldn't have any issues. You wouldn't be impeded in any way, shape or form by this side saddle. All right guys, this is the most important part of this segment for me, uh, and that is just how well does this hold shells? Well, it holds them phenomenally. And I don't want to use hyperbole for no reason. But man, this is holding them, it's Loctite, this is hard plastic here. They're holding the shells really, really well, it's gripping them. I mean, at first, when I first tried to put it in, I was like, oh man, I hope that this isn't a 20 gauge version, but no, you actually have to give it a little force and then you could actually get them in there. And unless there's like a crack or something like that, I don't think this, these are gonna deform at all. So you're gonna be able to have your shells at this height or any height that you wanna configure it at. Uh, for probably as long as you own this mechanism, at least for years to come. If you wanna mount your shells kind of from coming from underneath so you can pull them even quicker and then load them in like a lot of people like to do, you could do that too and you could have the confidence that it's not gonna slide on you. I could not do that with the old Techstar Slimline. Let's go take it out to the range and see how it handles out there.
fiber optic is still pretty good. Um, with this little raised area be due to the actual uh, screws, that really doesn't impede me from seeing this too much because, I mean, this is actually raised slightly, a little bit more than the bead, as you could actually see there. Uh, so looking down, you're gonna be looking slightly over these, but it's still pretty dead on, as you guys just saw in that last little example. All right, guys, so we had a good, nice day of shooting, shot a bunch of rounds, got the gun nice and warmed up, and man, everything is rock solid still for this side saddle by Monstrum Tactical. I'm super impressed. Everything really worked out the way that I had anticipated because I know Monstrum brings the quality every time they bring it. Um, the gripping force on the shells are good. This has not moved at all as far as just the side saddle. The screws are still good. Nothing is stripped, and I could see right over the top to this right to my fiber optic site i give it an a guys this is my new baby this is my new darling this is staying on the home defense shotgun highly recommend it link in the description give me a thumbs up if you like this give me a thumbs down if you didn't but i want to continue to make content that you guys enjoy that's helpful and that um hopefully is worth the while for those trying to pursue safety for you and your family god bless talk to you soon peace out you don't mind They don't need a new coming down Leo, Leo, Leo We you buzz We you buzz We you buzz We you buzz Hey, in the sky Switch it